Lekken Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of November 2022. Happy World Vegan Day! Let's check out the weather conditions right now. AQI 18 and we have 20, almost 29 degrees Celsius. November is also a time of uh, light. For example, in Thailand, but most parts of Southeast uh, Asia where they uh, have like these kinds of balloons up in the air and they land in the garden around like that. And then I need to pick them up and, uh, and put them in the garbage can. So, if you, ah, whoa, there's, there's some ant, nasty ants around, oh, red ants, oh, very nasty. Uh, so if you like the environment and the animals and stuff like that, don't, uh, don't participate in the candle, lighting these candles that fly up in the air. Like, like balloons. It's just uh, annoying for the nature and for the animals. And also a lot of times there are like um, children playing around with uh, fireworks. It's also very annoying. All the dogs around everywhere and all other animals are just super scared. So yeah, maybe it's fun for humans but not so fun for everything else on this planet. The water tank has been reinstalled on, the, on a new metal or steel structure like a like a table or something like that and it works so it's really really nice jackfruits on the trees state of the fruit cage we have some uh, papayas in the nets and bananas and bananas hanging all around here so like tons of banana Want to eat some bananas? You're welcome. And of course also the really nice fruit, the faktong, the pumpkin, the winter squash. The building over here has been renovated. Expanded and with an extra window. Fabian wanted an extension to this hut, so he was creative and made an extension like this. And then also we have changed the roofs, because if you have a roof uh, like that, like some kind of straw or grass, it just is very dirty and yeah, it's just a, a big mess and it's not waterproof after one and a half year, two years. So now we have like these metal sheet, sheet roof around here, which is very practical, very easy to install and waterproof and it's just easier to maintain and it's much cleaner inside the, the building also. Also it's easier to fireproof uh, for bugs. So if there are bugs eating the bamboo, you can just burn everything without worrying about the, the roof catching fire, which is extremely nice. Another pumpkin plant is popped out from the compost around here. Let's see if it will thrive into the dry season or not. As of now, it seems like the, the dry season is beginning and the, it's the end of the rainy season. And these are really ni nice because they're really nicely, there's this like space between every, um, not pumpkin, but uh, malago. Do you call it papaya? So if there is space, there is like air circulation around and they will not rot that easily and they can ripen up really nicely on the tree most of the time. Unless the birds of course eat them or, or the bugs eat them. Bean season starting. This is not a mango tree anymore. It's a tree of these beans. A bean tree growing up to the sky, up to the giants. All the old pumpkin plants around here have been cut now. And yeah, it's ready for another area with compost. We can grow new stuff or pumpkin next year. The mangoes have been taken care of, but 
at some places we still have branches like this, which means that there are some, not powder post beetles, but uh, some other beetles eating through the, the branches and then they need to be cut down or broken down. Because if there is something like this, it's not very nice. They will eat stem, stem borers, mango stem borers, eating mango. Inner parts of the mangoes, very nasty. So this is how it looks like when the chaya has been harvested. And here are all the branches, just composting, making ground cover. And and then otherwise it looks like this, it's a big plant. And then you can take the shoots, just break them off together with the leaves and then steam them. And that's like one of our main sources for greens right now. And another big fat banana, there's like tons of bananas. So. Probably not interesting anymore to look at bananas, huh? For me, it's still fun to look at bananas, though. Um, especially the, the red Cavendish over there. And also, today, because of World Vegan Day, Fabian and I, we celebrated with a really nice vegan ice cream with a hint of cinnamon. Really nice, and also a little bit of longan. For every season, if we have a lot of fruit, we will, we will save a little bit in the freezer, so we can uh, enjoy that for special occasions or just when we feel like it and uh, when, when, when the fruit is off season. I still have mangoes from like one and, a year, one and a half year ago and they actually taste good which is like surpri I'm surprised about that because last year the mango season wasn't uh, doing really well. I hope the, this year the mango trees will produce. There will be no, no crazy rain that will destroy all the flowers this year. When the red Cavendish starts to change color from like dark red into a, a brighter color, like a little bit greenish or yellowish, it's time to harvest it. Because if we don't harvest the, the banana in time, either the birds will eat them or it will be infected by bugs or they will crack. And when bananas start cracking, they will definitely not ripen up. I remember like having mega dreams about going to a tropical area or subtropical area like it is here and grow my own food and eat tree dropped fruits and stuff but <laughs> try to eat a tree dropped banana it will never happen so young Greg has grown up and has realized that some things aren't the way that he thought they would be <laughs> plastic around the garden flying around. I mean, it's just annoying when uh, people are not taking care of their garbage in a proper way. Yeah, but what can we do? We're only humans, right? Mimi, Tatom. Mimi, hey, temple dogs. Under the protection of Black and Greek Vegan Camp, right? Some humans are doing something with something here. I don't know what it is. And also a very nice fruit around here is the lime. And it's very nice to just pick up the lime that fall down. This is tr tree drop fruit. Very nice tree drop fruit. Fruit. The best thing is to just eat the lime when they are tree drop. That's perfect. The latest project is to close off any holes, entrances for rats to our storage room so they don't vandalize our, our stuff inside. And they're really, really, really nasty because they <laughs> chew through almost anything except this, these metal sheets, they cannot chew through this. These are the limes from the ground today. They smell very, very nice. Very limey. Also the current stock of passion fruit and some limes on the left. That's it. See you next month.